Hello and good evening. Can you hear me, guys? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Are we ready to start? Welcome, everyone. I am very happy to see you, to meet you. My name is Teacher Kalev Nunes. I'm going to be with you in this module, Intermediate Module 3. Congratulations for continuing in this uh, learning process and um, getting to your target, which is becoming a bilingual individual. So I'm very happy to help you and um, I'm going to do my best to take you to the next level, okay? So welcome everyone, are we ready to start? Tell me about you, introduce yourself, tell me something about you before we start. Hi, good evening. My name is Josué Cibrián. I live in, in Shilton City, Usulután, <laughs> Shilton City. Uh, I am, 30, 39 years old. I living with with me my family, uh, my my wife and um, my two children, uh, and son, and 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 girl, a girl. Only this. <laughs> Great, Josue. Good to know about you. That little picture you told us about your family and your personal information. I expect a lot of participation from you and from the rest of participants. Welcome to this class. Hello, good evening. Welcome, Byron. Come on in. Tell us. Tell us about it. Byron, there is much there is much noise where you are so i'm gonna have to skip your participation right now okay somebody else wants to proceed me teacher proceed please arnulfo okay good evening everyone my name is saul arnulfo i live in chalatenango i'm 20 25 years old and i'm happy for being here i hope learning a lot Wow, I can hear your English level is top notch. Very happy to help you making it even better if possible. Well, there is always room for learning, you know, there is always room for learning. So there should be something I will be able to help you with, Mr. Arnulfo. Welcome to this class. It's just one hour, so we're going to have fun just for one hour. Who goes next? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hey, come on in, Elmer. How's it going? Tell us about it. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. My name is Elmer Mauricio Salas. I live in Chalchuapa. I am, I am married. And I have two daughters. And I work in San Salvador. I am happy. Uh, uh, because uh, I am in this group for learn English. For learning English, yes, yes, Elmer. Sounds well, you're very far, you're very far away, but it, it, it's very nice that you're part of this family, that you're part of this group, and that you are in this English level. It, it looks very good that someone uh, like you, you know, with, with your children, with your job, with your occupations, uh, you continue learning English and, and, and that looks very nice. Uh, the English uh, population, the English speakers population is, is growing, is growing a lot in El Salvador. 
And all of you, all of you are part of that change. So after Elmer, your, your children will learn English, your wife will learn English, your neighbors will learn English. So uh, you are motivating other people, you know, to make the change. Welcome, Elmer. I'm happy to have you in my class. Thanks, teacher. You betcha. Somebody else wants to use the microphone. Go ahead. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Why don't we go with the ladies first? Let's go with the ladies first. <laughs> okay, thank you. Iris, go ahead. Uh, okay. Hello, nice to meet you, uh, classmates and teacher. Uh, I am Rosy uh, Hernandez. I live in Soyapango. I have two children and I want to advance in my English. Great, Edie. So you said you said you have two children. Is that correct? Yes, I am two children. I have. I have. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I have two children. So you have a boy and girl. Yes, my son and my daughter. Congratulations, Edie. I hope you. you finish the course and you become an advanced English student, become a bilingual, so you get a much better job, more opportunities to give your children a better quality of life, okay? I'm happy to have you as my student and I will help you as much as I can, okay? I expect participation. I expect a lot of participation. Let me pass the microphone to one of my ex-students. Uh, this face seems familiar to me. Go ahead, Mr. Nelson. Come on in. Hi, everyone. Uh, nice to see you again, Mr. Kalev. I am, uh, I feel very nice because I am here with you in the class. Uh, I am Nelson. I live in Aguilar City. Fantastic. Hey, we, we get together in this road again, Nelson. Uh, we encounter again in this learning process. I'm very glad to see you continue, you know, scaling, climbing, right? Climbing the mountain to become a bilingual person. We're gonna have fun again. Yes, for sure. Nice to see you again. Who's next? We do not have more participants willing to introduce. Okay. Hi teacher. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, how do you say your name? Is Josephette. Oh, Josephette. Yeah, well, you can call me Josie if you want. Josie? Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> Josie. Hey, tell us about you, Josie. Go ahead. Uh, I'm 20 years old. Uh, actually, um, I am a student. I am at the university. Uh, um, I live in Ilo Vasco, Cabañas. Oh, and what's Ilo Vasco like? Uh, that's after Cojutepeque, is it? Yes. Okay. Is it nice? Yes, I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Welcome to our class, Josie. I'm very happy to have you as a family member with us. I expect a lot of participation. Uh, any question, let me know. Okay. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Who else? Who else? Who else isn't shy enough to participate? Uh huh. Who else? Good evening, teacher. Who's there? Um, my name is Marbelli. I live in La Union. I work in La Union. Uh, I am married. I have. 
I have two children, one boy and one girl. I live English class because it's very fun. Great. Nice to meet you. Great meeting you, Marbelli. Welcome to our class. Thank you for investing this hour of your 24 hours uh, with us, right? We're gonna make it worth it. We're gonna help you, okay? So guys, uh, we don't have more time. Uh, it was only 10 minutes that we could use for this little talk. So now that we just started, I'm going to share with you um, maybe information you might be familiar with already. Um, but anyways, I still need to let you know. Okay. Um, remember that, let me see. It's highly important to be connected in each session. Um, at the end of the module, you must accumulate at least 80% of attendance. Um, my suggestion is not to be absent to my class, not to be absent because the absentism affects you for future uh, trainings, for future workshops. So 80% of the attendance, the connection via Zoom, you got to be connected from eight to nine, you got to be connected. Okay, besides that is the same percentage, 80% of uh, the development of your platform. Remember, one class is, is one task, is one homework in the platform. You must go to the platform after the class and complete the exercise. Uh, please, it's important to do that um, on a daily basis, okay? You need to be in class and you need to work on the platform. Yes, do you understand this part? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, thank you. Now, the connection, it's daily. Um, it's 60 minutes from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And also it is mandatory for all of you, for all of us to have your beautiful camera activated because we need to see your beautiful faces all the time. So this is part of the requirements established by your sponsor. And your sponsor, it's called Insafor. So if you have this opportunity, you have to honor Insafor's instructions. Okay, and one of that instruction is to have your camera activated. So remember that this course, it's, it's not at no cost for you. You don't pay any money, but you do have obligations. You do have responsibilities as a student. Okay, so let's be, let's be very professional on that. Let's be very responsible on that. I expect that from each one of you. Camera activated all the time. Um, <clears throat> now, when you put your name on the on the on the um, on the platform for the for the class here on Zoom, you need to put your full name, yeah, like you are doing. I can see all of you have your full name. That's very good. First name, last name, and last name complete, right? Uh, let me see. We're gonna go over the attendance. I'm going to call the attendance two times. One in the beginning and one at the end of the class. Okay, and the last one and my favorite is active participation. I really need active participation because the more you practice, the more opportunities you have to speak better. The more opportunities I have to catch any mistake, any mispronunciation on you and help you to get in that corrected. Capiche, so far so good? Yes, it's good. Perfect, perfect. Yes. 
Okiro. Yes, teacher. Let's go over the attendance. Please say, here I am. If I mention your name, let me start with Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez. Good evening, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let me put you here. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Good evening. Welcome, Byron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Awesome. Is Mr. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano here? How about Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas? Claudia Beatriz Ramos de Mos. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Wow, Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Good evening. Hi, Elvia. How's it going? Ready for the class? Yes, teacher. I'm ready. All right. Emma Jamile. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. It's a pleasure, Elvia. Okay. <clears throat> Is Emma Jamile Correa Madrid here? Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Josie Beth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. Cool. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. I am here, teacher. Perfect. Joel Ulises Menjibar Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Welcome, sir. Josue Neftali Cibrian Hernandez. Present. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Kimberly Vanessa Avalos Serrano. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. I'm here, teacher. Great, nice to meet you, sir. Welcome to the class, Manuel. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. Nice to meet you, miss. Nice to meet you too. Okay, Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Welcome to the class. Are we ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdamas. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I'm here. Okay, Nelson. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Yeah, here, teacher. Hi, how's it going? It's fine. Great. Paulo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present teacher, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. Present, teacher. All right, Patricia, welcome to the class. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Rene David Calderon Peñate. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Good evening. Good evening. How's it here? Evening? Glad to meet you. The pleasure is mine. I'm ready for the class, Miss Sandra, and I'm happy to have you with us. All right. How about Sandra Maria Molina Cuvias? Present teacher. All right. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the class. All right. Thank you. And Saul Arnulfo Menjibar Crespin. Present teacher. I'm here. Marvelous. 
let's go ahead and get started with our session. I'm going to now share my screen. Ready to participate, ready to learn. Let's go, okay? Let me ask, hey, let me see, show, 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 show. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I need the other option here, let's see. Here it is. Show, yeah, I wanna see this, I wanna see this. Okay, let's see, ah, I see your faces now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there you go. Okay, do I have a volunteer to share today's or tonight's objective? Do we have a volunteer today? I'm here. I'm here. Okay, help us out, go ahead. Uh, now. Yes, go ahead. Read tonight's objective for us. Wait, wait, wait. Can't see. You can't see. Eh, hola. Eh, eh, go. Hola, disculpe que lo interrumpa. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Eh, eh, hay varios, bueno, habíamos varios que estábamos en otro link que nos enviaron al privado. Y no es este mismo, Somos, éramos como 11. Desde antes de las 8 estamos ahí esperando y, y este, pensábamos que ese era el link de la clase. Eh, los otros 11 se quedaron allá. Eh, yo les envié el... Porque teníamos otro código diferente. Yo les envié eso el, ahí al, al chat del, de la videoconferencia y les sí. dije de que intentaran unirse, tal vez. Porque este es intermedio 2, ¿verdad? Correcto. Sí, ah, pues sí. Somos, éramos 11 los que estábamos en, el, en, aquel, en, aquella, en aquella videoconferencia. Este, ¿Y cuál es tu nombre? Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Sí, sí, aquí están. Eh, no entiendo por qué la confusión, porque dices que te enviaron otro link. Bueno, es el primer día y puede que por ahí venga todo, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, según a todos los que estábamos ahí, nos lo habían enviado por privado. Y era un link diferente al que usted acaba de enviar ahorita. No, perdón, al que envió Paola Iglesias, al grupo. Es diferente. Sí, sí, es diferente. Y eh, éramos 11 los que estábamos ahí. Éramos varios. Este va a ser el enlace real. Sí, hacerme un favor y volverlo a poner, porfa, en el grupo. Can you put it again? Qué extraño. Eh, si quiere, me voy a salir ahorita y me voy a volver a meter al anterior y le voy a avisar. Please, Carlos, please, Carlos. Thank you. Bueno, ya vengo. Creo que la confusión que tuvieron los compañeros fue que entraron al enlace que habían enviado para la reunión. Is another link. Del lunes. Mm -hmm. okay. Me imagino que eso sería bueno que lo pusiera en el grupo de WhatsApp donde estamos todos. Es correcto. Por favor. No voy a ir aquí al correo, guys, because, eh, you know, it's the first time, it's the first class, so these things are part of the budget. Let me see. Ajá. Dice que no funciona aquí mi 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 Buenas gente noches. no funciona el micrófono. Van. No sé por qué no me funciona y el otro sí me funciona. Su alta no me funciona. Me compruebo la conexión usando un altavoz diferente. Uy, tendría bueno, de escuchar. Ay, yo, pero le escuchamos, Iris. Le escuchamos, Iris. Se escucha. Se escucha bien, se escucha claro. No hay reunión todavía, ¿verdad? No hay clase, ¿verdad? Pues estamos no? esperándolos, porque como hay unos que se habían conectado en otro link, entonces los estábamos esperando. Sí, es cierto, no habían dado otra 
link diferente. Otro password y por eso estamos andamos por otro lado. Sí, lo lamento ahí la confusión, guys. Eh, espero que ahora ya tengamos todos los accesos. Eh, creo que faltan todavía, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, algunos están tratando de ingresar a este a la clase porque andamos por otro lado como sí, dos y me contó un compañero ok anyways most of the students are here now most of the students are here now recuerden que I'm going to pass the attendance again at the end of the class ok so we have okay. to start the class yes we got to we got to start the class right now so I'm going to share the my screen once again. Okay, there we have the, or, or uh, can you see my screen? Can you visualize my screen now? Yes. 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 So today we are going to listen and practice a conversation between family members. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's see, let me right okay so we're gonna watch this video to begin with okay everybody um deactivate your microphone so we can have a better quality of sound thank you thank you okay let's watch the video if you have any question we'll discuss at the end okay Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. Okay. No problem. Goodness. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. All right, do you have any comment? Do you have any question about the video? No, teacher. Hi, welcome to this new course. Okay, so you understand all the material seen there. Okay, okay, so you have any question about the video? Eh, la verdad, teacher, no lo escuché muy bien, como se corta. Oh, ok, ok, we're going to play it again, just one more time. Please. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Oh, but it's very. All right, so there we have some expressions, uh, phrasal verbs. The first phrasal verb is turn down. Um, do we have a volunteer to explain turn down? <laughs> Bajarle el volumen a la tele. Okay, that's the translation in Spanish, Byron. Um, but I was asking okay. for someone to explain, turn down. 
Can you explain turn down in English? It down to sound. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Down the sound. Down the sound. Hmm. Somebody can give me a longer explanation about turn down. It's when the sound is or something is very is very high. Okay, it's when the sound or the volume or the volume of something is very high. So you ask to turn it down. Okay. Now, turn it down is when you decrease, yeah? When you decrease the volume of a gadget. Yes, that's correct. Turn down is different. Okay, let me ask you something. Turn down is the same than turned off? No. 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 Completely no. different. Perfect, perfect. So as long as everybody understands that turn turn off and turn down are different, right? Okay. Next one. It's pick up. Pick up. Yeah. It's like to. When you have a lot of things on the floor, and for example, toys, uh, chooses, clothes, and your mom is very uh, <laughs> upset. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you have to 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 take and put on the, a place or 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 organ, organize your house, your home. That is correct. Thank you for that information, sir. That's very kind. Okay. And let's see. So what's the, what's that? Let's see. As soon as you hang up, hang up. Okay, hang up. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Let's move on. Let's move on. Um, this is about being organized, right? Turn down is asking for a favor. Yeah. Asking for a favor or pick it up, pick up something, pick something up, pick something up. Okay, now that we watch that video, can you give examples? Let me see, can you give examples? Oops, what happened here? Can you give examples of turn down? Mm. When the music is uh, very loud, um, turn down the volume. Turn down becomes into um, a request, right? Everybody repeat request. Request. Yes. For example, request. Uh, could you please turn down the music? Sure. Go ahead. Other example, uh, when you talk with the other person, this person say, say, uh, can you, can you, when you talk, when you talk, can you, can you uh, turn down your voice? Correct. Can you turn down your voice? That is correct. Excellent. Excellent. Um, well, can you turn down your voice? Can you turn down the radio? Yeah, excellent. What about pick up? Can you give examples using pick up? When... Okay, I couldn't hear you no more. They are picking up the leaders. They are picking up the leader. The leader. Okay. The leader. 
Okay, so we are practicing turn down and pick up. Now, pick up. Uh, go ahead. When you, uh, when you, uh, an example. My yes. Boss, I will say, uh, when you. Wait, you're breaking up. You're breaking up, Josh. Uh, can you, can, can we, uh, can, uh, uh, can you, uh, take off your uh, all the tools, for example. Correct, tools. correct. Pick up. Thank you so much, Josue. Thank you so much. Uh, we can use turn down and pick up in two different ways. Okay. The way you told me, the way you told me, for example, hey, excuse me, uh, can you turn down the volume? Yeah. Can you turn down? Yeah. Turn down the volume for me, yeah? Yes, no problem. I can, I will turn down the volume, yes. But also you can say, turn something down, yeah? Turn something down. For example, hey, can you turn the volume down, please? Yeah, you can say, can you turn down the volume? Can you turn down the volume or can you turn the volume down? Yes. So you can say, can you turn down the TV? Can you turn down the TV or can you turn the TV down? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, it's the same. You can use. It's just the order that changes a little bit. Also okay. with pick up, pick up. Okay, like you said in the examples, you told me examples. Hey, can you pick up your stuff? Can you pick up your things? Can you pick up your toys? Yes, pick up, pick up something. Can you pick up the box? Yes, pick up a box, pick up the candies, pick up the uh, groceries. Pick up the chooses. Pick up. <laughs> but the other form, the other form is pick something up. Pick something up. Yes? Or pick me up, teacher. Re repeat, Alejandro. Can you, can you, can you pick me up uh, uh, my, my school, something like that? Correct. Something or Someone. Oh, someone, yes. Yes, exactly. A good example, Alejandro. Alejandro says, can you pick me up? Can you pick me up at the office? Yes. Can you pick me up at school? Yes. Pick yes. someone up or pick something up. What about pick something up? Hey, can you, can you pick uh, your toys up? Can you pick the litter up? Can you pick the pillows up? So you pick something or you pick someone up. Do you understand? Got it, got it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Why don't we practice a little bit more with turn down and pick up? Can you prepare two examples? Prepare one example using turn down, turn, something down okay one example with turn something down one example and one example using pick something up something or someone Something or someone uh, Go ahead, you have five minutes. Go ahead, you have five minutes. Go ahead. I have a question. Go ahead. It has to be in that order. It must be in one of those two options. Uh -huh. You can say turn down or turn something down. You can say pick up or pick something up or pick someone up. Mm -hmm. 
you. you already know you already know how to how to say maybe or how to use turn down or pick up but using the other form using the second form yes with something in the middle or someone in the middle can you try We have five minutes for this exercise. Teacher, may, may I give you an example? You have an example for us? Uh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Give us, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Sure. Okay, there you go. Go ahead. Give us your example. Okay, uh, could you pick your keys, your keys out? Could Did you say, example, could you example. could you pick could you pick your keys up? Yes. Okay, just be careful with the pronunciation of up. Okay, could you pick your keys? Okay, up? Yes, sure. mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, the other example. Could you, could you pick? Uh, could you could you or no? Uh, let me let me see. Could you pick up? No. Could you pick uh, your thing out? No. Oh, oh. Okay. So don't confuse out with put. Up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. 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 Thank you. Go ahead. Raise your hand, raise your virtual hand who wants to who wants to participate. Chat your example or say your example. Come on. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please, Byron. Could you pick up this book? Could you pick me up at the school? Perfect. Using the two forms. Good job. Do you have something <laughs> to turn down? Turn down the TV, turn the music down. Perfect, thank you. Good job, you got it, you got it. Somebody <laughs> else, somebody else. Sure. Thanks, Tim. I have a question, I have a question. Go ahead, Alejandro. Yeah, the, for example, could you, could you say, uh, turn down your language? When you, for example, would you, you respond to your mom, your father, or, I don't know. When you over talk somebody? Yes, or for example, if you you angry, you very, very angry, you you say hey, turn down your language, please. Because I I don't know, I maybe you can put the high in your voice or I don't know. Or your or your temper, yeah. your mood. Yeah, my temp yeah. That's that's true. Correct or wrong? Oh. Your ego, <laughs> even your yeah. ego, <laughs> you can turn down your ego. Yes, yes, definitely. You can turn down everything, not only a sound. You can turn down yeah. a negative attitude. Yes. Yeah. For example, okay. someone that is arrogant, a can you turn it. down it. your attitude, your arrogance. Can you turn it down? Yes. You're totally oh. right, sir. Good catch. Thank you. I have an example. Go ahead, Raphael. Could turn your voice down, please? Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Yes. Could you turn voice down, please? Could you? Could you turn? Okay. Could you turn your voice down? That's one form. Could you turn your voice down, please? Yeah. Yeah. Option two, option two, could you turn down your voice? Could you turn down your voice? You got that, Rafael? Could you turn down your voice? Two options, right? Turn down and turn your voice down. Capiche? Okay. Awesome, awesome. Next participant, who else? Teacher and me. Yeah, uh, it's correct that say uh, to 
turn down the sole of the car. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's correct. Turn okay, down and the of the pick car. up the kid at the school. Pick up the kids. Yes, pick up the, the kids. kids. Okay. You can say pick up the kids or pick pick the kids up. Okay. Two options. Thank you. Good job. Okay. Good job. Somebody else. Oh, we have uh, hands raised. Wait, wait, wait. We have hands raised. We have Ulysses. Go ahead, Ulysses. Yeah, my example is she and wait for me. Yeah. She has to she has to pick up her children at the school. She has to pick up her children at school. At school. Okay, Joel. Okay. Can you use the other form? Um, she needs to. She needs to pick her children. No, she needs to pick up her children okay. at school. She needs to pick up her children at school, right? Pick yes. up, pick up her children at school. That's correct. That's one option. That's one option. Second option, she needs to pick her children up. Pick her children up. She needs to pick her children up at school. Two options, okay? Okay. Okay, very Thank good. Thank you. My pleasure. Next, we have Josephette and Natalie. Okay, let's go with Natalie first. Let's go with Natalie. Geraldine, go ahead, Natalie. Turn down the radio, it's too loud. Turn down the radio, it's too loud. Turn down the radio. Natalie, can you say the other form? Turn down the radio, what is the other form? Turn the radio down. Yes, awesome, that's advanced English. And what is the other uh, example? With pick up? You must pick your mom up at 5 p.m. <laughs> you will have problems <laughs> pick your mom up at 5 p.m or you will have problems excellent thank you let's go with josie josie what do you have okay uh first mary picks her clothes up the second mary my brother should pick me up before 4 p.m and the last my neighbor has to turn down the music because i have a meeting in my house Oh, turn down the music or turn the music down. Thank you for that participation, guys. Good job. I appreciate your participation. Okay. So if you want to practice a little more, you want to practice a little more, uh, you can do me, you can do me for examples, right? For homework tomorrow, you can do uh, one using pick up and the other one using pick something up, right? Pick something up. Like the examples you said. I like Joel's example. He said, she needs to pick, pick up her children. Her children. And the other option is, she needs to pick her children up. Okay, I need one example like this. Yeah, she needs to pick up her children or she needs to pick her children up. In, in one example uh, with turn down and turn something or someone down. Uh, you need to chat this information tomorrow on the WhatsApp chat. Send me a chat with two examples like this. Yeah, using the normal form and using the second option. One with pick up and one with turn down. Do you understand? Got it. Perfect. 
let's move on. Let me share my screen. We have 10 more minutes. We can move on. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I've got it right here. Let me share my screen once again. Here we go. So we're gonna go to the next one. Next slide. Okay, it says, we will practice using two part verbs to make questions. That's the second objective. Okay, let's take a look at this video now. Deactivate microphones, please. Part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Sit down. Okay, this is pretty much what we have. Wait, I have a chat. Let me see. Um, yeah, okay, Natalie. Thank you for the report. No problem. No problem. Okay, so this is pretty much what I was telling you, uh, what I expect on your homework, right? With nouns, turn down the TV or turn the TV down. With pick up, pick up your things or pick your things up. So this is your homework for tomorrow, right? Yes. One shot with examples similar like these ones, similar like these ones. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna see if you can send it to me. Tomorrow, we will practice these two parts. The, um, the um, two part verb with nouns, with pronouns, okay? Like uh, it, like them, yeah? or also requests and responses. We're gonna practice these two things tomorrow.
today we're going to finalize with our attendance. That's how fast we finished this class today because we have some technical problems, guys. So let me call the attendance. One second, please. Okay, maybe we have all the students now together. Um, Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Yes, teacher. Eduardo, Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I am here. All right. And Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. I am here. Okay, Claudia Beatriz Ramos de Mos. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. I am here, teacher. All right. Todos ustedes estaban en el otro link, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sí. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Hi, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Y Elvia Sofía Pérez Castaneda. Emma Jam I'm here, teacher. Okay, okay, I got you, Elvia. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Emma Jamilet Corea de Corea Madrid. Oh, here, teacher. Okay. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Okay. Missing in action, huh? Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Kimberly Vanessa Avalos Serrano. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. Bye, teacher. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you, too. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman Santos. Mónica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Natalie Geraldine. Flores Gerdan, Flores Galdames. Here. Thank you. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Here I am. Perfect. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. I am here, teacher. Pretty much. That's what we expect. Oscar, thank you so much. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present teacher. Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. Present teacher. René David Calderón Peñate. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. I'm here. Thank you. Sandra Maria Molina Cubillas. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> Soy Sara. 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 Wait, wait, mm -hmm. wait. Sara Maria oh. Molina. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Sara Maria okay. Molina Cubillas, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> and Saul Arnulfo Menjibar Crespin. Crespin, okay. teacher. All right, guys, this is this is how we end our first class. I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Have a great teacher. night. Teacher, yes, sir. I'm yes. here. You didn't mention me. I didn't mention you. No. Huh? Me. What's your name? Teacher. I'm Josie. You didn't imagine me. Josivet. See? Okay, I'm sorry, Josivet. I got you here. Josivet. I'm here, Richard. Yes. Who Richard. else? Richard. Here I am. Hay, hay un problema. Hay un problema. Lo que pasa es que envié este link en la videoconferencia anterior que le mencioné. Y esa videoconferencia ya revisé bien y no era de intermedio 2, sino que era, la videocon era el link de la videoconferencia de lunes. Entonces, mm -hmm. habíamos varios que estábamos en esa videoconferencia. Así dijo la compañera. Sí, eso, eso es lo que había pasado, guys. 
Entonces, Piche, una pregunta. Y, y este es módulo 3, pero intermedio módulo 3. No, this is intermedio módulo 2. Wow, entonces estoy eh, en el área equivocada porque estuve en, en el otro que me nos habían dado, pero no se abrió la, la ¿cómo se llama? La, la clase. Por eso es que estaba yo viendo de que ustedes tienen el, 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 la plataforma diferente a la, a la mía, porque yo estoy en módulo 3. Ya pasé el 2. Ah, pues apunte mi número que... ahí, eh, Iván. O los eh, que tengan este problema, les voy a dar un número para que llamen. Es el 75. Hola. 75. Hola. Hola. Ahorita se los mando en un chat. Sí, por favor, porque ando, no estoy en la clase, en módulo 3, Piche. Oh, my goodness, I'm sorry. Creo que yo tengo el mismo problema. Creí sí, que era intermedio 1. Wow. <risa> Andamos perdidos. Hagamos algo. <risa> Marquen este número mañana para que les ayuden con eso. Es el 7555-1520. Esa es la técnica que les va a ayudar con este problema y ella se llama, permítanme, se llama Paola Iglesias. Oh, Paola, sí. Comuníquense entonces con Paola ese número, guys. Y Paola Iglesias. Y vamos a estar todos donde tenemos que estar. Sí, sí, porque andamos, pues yo andaba perdido con la clase y dije, no, vuelvo a la misma. Dije yo. Y, <risa> <risa> que pregunté, ¿no? Porque... Estamos bien, teacher. Un placer ahí. Disculpa. No problem. Compañero. No problem, guys. I'll see go you ahead. tomorrow, everyone. Go ahead, go ahead. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Night-night. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night.